Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be going inside TJ Maxx. I only thought it was right to do a TJ Maxx video and tell the winner of the TJ Maxx giveaway is Natalie Gay. So congratulations. I hope you enjoy all the stuff that I picked out and the bag full of goodies. I would love to keep it for myself, but I also love to do giveaways. So I hope you enjoy all the stuff inside that bag. But like I said, we are about to go inside TJ Maxx, see what they have in there, see if they have anything different. And I will see you on the inside, guys. Okay, you guys, so I am inside TJ Maxx. This is the one closest to my house. There is one about 45 minutes further. It is a lot bigger, but I'm not going there today. As you can see, they have a lot of MAC lipsticks. They are like burgundy red shades. They have some pillow pout. They also have some milk makeup, Marc Jacobs, some Stila, some lip gloss right here. A lot of MAC reddish color lipsticks, like burgundy colors. And this one right there looks like a more mauve toned nude. And going down, they do have some NARS in the back right there. As you can see, those are for $5.99, you guys. They did have a few bucks some lip glosses, which I was surprised to see. Usually they don't have the full-on polished lip glosses as ones I normally don't see in there. They have some ABH. That is the liquid lipstick in the shade Nude right there. That is for $5.99. So these high-end lip products are honestly cheaper than lip products at Walmart. A lipstick at Walmart, just for an example, like the L'Oreal is $8.99, $9.99. This stuff in here is high-end and almost half the price of the Walmart lipstick. So it just, it amazes me every time I go in a TJ Maxx and I find good stuff. Right here they have a Stila, it was like a lip kit thing. They had two lip liners and then two of the liquid lipsticks. Right here they have some KVD Beauty and it is in a little pack. Those are three liquid lipsticks, which I thought was honestly pretty cool. Right here is a five pack of nude lip glosses. Over on the other side, we have some Clinique. This is some even better refresher. It said that it was like a makeup primer. So I'm um, assuming for under foundation, they do have some Laura Mercier powder right there. I was excited to see some Marc Jacobs foundation, but nothing in my shade. And I just had to repick that up to see the price. It is $16.99, so not bad at all, you guys. That's less than half the price if you go on Sephora. Right here they have some, I'm not even sure what this was, but it was medium deep concealer. I'm not sure of the brand. I'm not familiar with it. And behind that, they did have some Bare Minerals Blush, which I actually already own this shade, and it's $7.99, and I'm pretty sure I paid 20 something dollars at Ulta for that. So a little disappointed at that. But right here, they have some First Aid Beauty. This is the Avocado Concealer, and it is in the second lightest shade. I honestly would need the first lightest shade. And right here, they have some Pacifica Concealer. Up here they did have some Becca Cosmetics that is a shimmer stick, which is actually in the giveaway, you guys. And that color also is Champagne Pop. They also had some Becca right there, which nothing was my shade today. I was a little disappointed, but it's okay. I honestly don't need any more makeup. I just like to really find high-end cosmetics for so cheap. And right here, I was super excited to see they have some Marc Jacobs concealer, but it was in a really dark shade. So if you are medium to dark skin, you would have a ball in my TJ Maxx because a lot of the stuff, the concealers, the powders, the foundations, they are deeper in shade. Right here, they did have some MAC eyeshadows for $19.99. Some Lorac some Maybelline right there and I was really excited to actually see some Maybelline Better Skin I used to love this back in the day but that shade right there is just not my shade so I did pass up on that but they were literally only 
and you can't find those anywhere ever and that is a really good concealer also right here they have a little brush set they had some elf behind there they had some more elf some more elf and more elf i think that was the elf shelf <laughs> So over here, they do have some little eyeshadow palettes, which I love small, good little eyeshadow palettes. Right here, they have some Buxom for $6.99. Right there, it says full on polish. I was really excited to see this in my TJ Maxx. They have some more eyeshadow palettes over here. This one is a strobe and shading from Absolute. It's actually a highlighter and contour. Down here, they have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, you guys. I was just looking, not so many high-end, but still pretty ones. This one is the Rose Nude, and I honestly just wanted to see what the inside looked like. The shades are beautiful. I'm not sure of the quality. I have honestly never used that. So just going through, they did have a lot of Makeup Revolution. They had the Avocado Palette which is right there but it's just turned around so somebody had that out and then over here i thought that the other that is a bh cosmetics like i couldn't open it but it looked like nudes and neutrals to me from what the back showed but it was plastic wrap around it honestly it's something i do appreciate because a lot of the times in tj maxx you will find something that is really beautiful but has also been like tampered with so i do appreciate that they did have that wrapped up like that as you can see there are just so many eyeshadow palettes right here and this guy right here is an illuminating bronzer palette which i thought was pretty cool so i wanted to see what the inside looked like it was covered up but as you can see, it had different shades of bronzer and one pretty highlight. That was also for $5.99. They did have so many face palettes and eyeshadow palettes. This one here is $6.99, you guys. And then they had some more of that nude palette. That was also $6.99. And then over here, they had some cute little... I'm obsessed with little palettes lately. But it said purple haze and you can see they have like a yellow some pinks and then some purples in there down here at the bottom though they had the bigger eyeshadow palettes they had the mac studio and they also had a liner and a mascara in there they did have this um eyeshadow royals palette which i thought was pretty cute and it was only 5.99 and this makeup revolution here was like thick looking. So I wanted to see how many eyeshadows were actually in there. It was $5, like five bucks for makeup revolution, 48 eyeshadows, $5. I was like, what? I'm not really into greens and blues. This little palette here was beautiful. It looks like fall colors to me, but right next the one I grab right here, the Colorbook CB03, $6.99 for this one, and it's 48 eyeshadows. I did end up getting this. I could not pass it up. I'm pretty sure I could use this eyeshadow palette now, but it looks so beautiful for fall and winter. So for that price, 48 eyeshadows, I'm definitely getting that. Right here, there are some Jabinesque, if that's how you pronounce it, brushes. Um, right here were some little eyeshadow brushes. I love the ones in these little tins like this because they actually are brush holders and they are so cute on a vanity. This one here I haven't seen before. It is a Real Techniques. It was a brush set. It was $14.99, but it was like spinning brushes. So I'm not sure if I would even ever use that, but I thought it was interesting. I did like this five piece little pink eyeshadow brush set. It was only $5.99. And then right here they have some Laura Geller brushes and a brush cleaner. I was trying to see what the price was. Um, I think it was pretty cheap. Yeah, $7.99, you guys. This is high end. Like it just amazes me sometimes what I can find at these some of these TJ Maxx's. So I went over to the skincare aisle, which is an aisle over 
just to see what they had over there because the last time I was there they had a lot of first aid beauty and they did have a few things not as much as last time but you guys I have been obsessed with first aid beauty products I don't know why they did have some of this um fires facial mist um I do have the toner at home I think that's just what it is like a spray toner but I don't have a spray bottle at home it's just like the normal drip I would put on a pad and then rub on my face so I do like that product they do have some elf cbd moisturizer right there it was for $4.99 i have never used it i don't know if it's good or not um i was eyeballing this neutrogena hydro boost moisturizer in a spray bottle because i am obsessed with neutrogena lotions just in general and i did buy two of those over this one right here that blue one i did buy two of those over at my ross's they had for $3.99 so the exact same thing but was a dollar cheaper Right here, just some clean and clear. I'm more looking for high-end products. So I usually bypass the other stuff that I can get at like Walmart and CVS and Walgreens. But just so you guys know, if you do want that Neutrogena and clean and clear, it is honestly cheaper at TJ Maxx. I can go into Walmart right now and that clean and clear that you just saw I think is like $7.99 and it was $3.99 so it's almost half the price cheaper they do have some more first aid beauty right there they did have this one Becca it says instantly awakens and it's a face primer slash hybrid I want to say skincare product I'm not sure I have never used that but it said illuminating and usually I don't like illuminating just because I have combination to oily skin with large pores so I bypassed on that I did not get it even though it was intriguing they do have so many serums down there and this was a facial lotion here actually a facial gel right here there was another facial lotion it was cruelty and vegan free it was pretty cheap too, $5.99. Almost all the stuff in here are, is like $3.99, $4.99, $5.99. They had some Pacifica right there for $5.99. And they did have a Stila liquid eyeshadow for $4.99. Stila. Those are, I believe, $22. Okay guys, so I just came out of TJ Maxx. Um, I was honestly looking for the Marc Jacobs lip gloss sticks. Um, I heard that they had some in there, although I didn't get mine from in there. Um, I was looking for some in there, I didn't see any. So I think tomorrow I might go to a, another one that is a little bit further away, but that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this TJ Maxx shop with me video. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.